Hi there, it's John Joe again. This week I've got Archie, Olivia, helping me out. Archie's my youngest son, Olivia's my youngest daughter. They do all of our art club stuff. So today we're going to use stuff from around the house to make what? <laughs> out of all things that we've found in the recycling, okay, that we can use to print our picture with, right? So we're going to do possibly, what should we do on our picture? A flower. Flowers. What else? Um, trees. Trees. So we might do a landscape. We're going to print and see how it goes. So let's get started. We're using all sorts of bits and pieces that we found in the recycling, such as so this. little plastic tubs, string, string and wool, little cups, cardboard, yes, chocolate things, drink bottles. drink bottles. Right, we're going to get our paint ready. So we're using a bit of red, yellow, yellow, blue. Little bit of blue. Any other colours? Brown. Bit of brown as well, okay. Right, I'm gonna quickly draw you guys a plant pot. Because I think what we'll do, maybe we'll do a vase of flowers. Okay, so if I put our plant pot where it wants to be, yeah, just like that. Okay, nothing too special. Maybe we'll have a table that it's sitting on, yeah, and then we could have. Because we don't paint all this, if we do a tablecloth, this is actually quite like the sort of thing that I paint in my studio. But obviously you guys are going to do all this. So then from there we can put all of our stems in and you can print all your flowers. Okay. So all I'm going to do is dab a bit of paint on the middle of the table. Yeah, and then I'm going to just dab that on all over. Okay, so if you we might, put the... Yeah, go on. You might need a big bit of paint more than mine. Okay. And then just dab it on a bit more. How's that one look? Oh, so you've put a bit more paint on this time. So what if you put loads of paint on? I'm just going to dab, really push that on the paper. And then it makes a lovely shape of a flower. Right, Archie, what are you up to? So, I'm going to cut these bits off. What is that thing? Uh, just a bit of plastic that we found. That's yeah. it. And remember guys, at home, anyone using scissors, if you can't manage it yourself, get a grown up to do it for you or someone that can, right? Okay, now, so what's next? I'm going to put some paint on. Big bit. And then I'm going to pop it on. Now we don't even know what it's going to come out like, do we? Because we haven't done this printing before. So, every time we print, we probably get something a bit different. Yeah, look at that. So now we're getting lovely blue flowers. Lots of yellow flowers. We've got our pot. Now we can get busy printing. starting to look really cool. I'm loving all the different shapes and all the splodginess. Do you like the splodginess, Liv? Yeah. Can't beat a bit of splodginess. What are you up to, Archie? So, I just found this random. Yeah. So I'm going to chop that out. I can. Yeah, okay. Now that's the thing, if you chop it out a bit rough, you might get a really cool flowery design when you finish it. You know, it's all experimentation, isn't it? There's no, um, there's no set rules for this. If you look at flowers that are actually in a vase or on a windowsill or out in your garden, if you have a look at those, you'll see that each flower is perfectly different and unique, a bit like us, a bit like you, Liv. Perfectly unique. So if you keep painting, 
You can put them all on there and make it look like a proper cool picture. Also, you could mix paint and then it could make more colours. Like what? What would you mix? Like yellow and blue or red and blue or green okay. and yellow. So what I'm going to do is mix a little bit of red yeah. into the pot with my yellow. Yeah. And then I'm going to just mix it. Okay. And it might turn into red or... And what colour do you think it's going to make? I don't know. So how's that little bit going that you chopped out? Good. So now all I'm going to do, do one more there. And, ooh, look at this. A lid so I can put some little blobs on. So and you do some tiny little this. flowers. Well, that does look quite neat. Perfect. So, a new shape. Mm -hmm. What sort of flower do you think that would be? Ooh. I'm going to mix up some red and blue and see what it comes out. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. I'm going to do this little box and just blob it on here. Then it makes a lovely flower. Cool. And I've got this, and I'm going to do my last one. Just put it there, so you can put a stem, a stem coming from there into here. Cool. So I think now you're going to hold it up so we can see what you've done. Yeah. And then we're going to leave it to dry for a bit, and then looking pretty good. Do we like it so far? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so we've got, we let it dry overnight and we're going to use these pens to add extra detail on to make it all nice. And I might use this pink. Ooh. I want to make it look pretty so it's a proper vase of flowers. How are you going to do that? Hmm, probably I might do some of these. Okay, what about you Arch? So, we're adding our little petals and the flicks and all sorts. To make them all look like separate flowers. the stems so we're going to try and get it all the same colour which will be a dark colour like black or brown or something okay like that and that's going to go to each flower isn't it yeah so it looks like a real vase of flowers and we're going to make it look like a finished picture a finished picture cool Okay, we've all done and it looks very good.
I think even Polly likes it. Polly, don't eat our painting. <laughs>